Would you like to get an update of what's happening in our Tracy real estate market? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about what's going on in our Tracy real estate market, giving you the update you've been waiting for. All right, let's get right into it. It is August the 3rd, happy Tuesday, August the 3rd at 9.50 a.m. And as of right now, we currently have 97 homes active and on the market. Active and on the market means available for buyers to look at, fall in love with, and write offers on. We have 119 homes pending. Pending means buyers have written their offers and sellers have accepted them. So they are in contract and pending, 119. I wanna look at these numbers real quick. So when you have, remember from previous episodes, a lot more homes pending than you have active and available on the market, it's a sign of a seller's market. So right now we still have a pretty healthy gap between the active and pending. However, the gap has closed a little bit which is one sign of a few I've seen of a normalizing market. I'm gonna come back to that. And for the month of July, we here in Tracy have sold 108 homes, single family homes. The average sold price of those 108 single family homes was $763,042, which is up 1.09% from June of this year. That shows us that we are still appreciating, but the appreciation gap or how much we've, we are over the previous month has shrunk. Another sign of a possible normalizing market. Now, from July of this year to July of last year, we are actually up, now this is a big number, 40.45% from the average sold price of July of 2020. Now let's look at the year as a whole. So, so far in 2021, our average sold price has been $699,000, which is up 26.12% from 2020 as a whole. Now, again, we have appreciated quite a bit in this year, 2021 from last year, uh, which is great for all of us homeowners. Now let's go back and talk about the normalizing term that I used. There are certain things that I'm seeing happen, happening with both what the numbers I just shared with you, but also with my current sellers and my current buyers and my peer agent realtors out there with their clients, we are seeing the number of offers going down. We're still getting multiple offers on homes. So when I say normalizing, I'm saying we are, it looks like we're shifting into a normal seller's market, the market we were in before the pandemic hit, possibly. Now, again, still getting multiple offers. Homes are still selling for over their asking price, but it's more of the normal terms we're seeing as well. So if you have any questions about what this potential normalizing market means to you as a home seller or you as a home buyer, give us a call at the number below. We would be absolutely honored and love to talk to you about that and what it means to you. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video out for you.